Um, I'm Cheryl Yanong and I live in um, Buhangin, Davao City and I've been a VA for almost 10 years now. So I've started uh, being a VA around um, when I was around 21. Before uh, being a VA, I was uh, working at a, an office for eight hours and it was really an everyday struggle because um, I really had to wake up early, going to the office, uh, traffic, um, looking for some place to park as well. Or maybe um, there are a lot of, um, like for example, I woke up late <laughs> and also I have to, uh, there's no water because I have to like take a bath and everything. So it's an everyday struggle going to the office and then um, I have to be there like eight hours and in the room and the next thing is because of my family I wanted to be here with my dad and take care of him. My dad has a um, suffered from a stroke for two times. The first stroke affected his um, left side of his body and the second stroke um, also affected um, the right side so he, he couldn't work anymore so which is the more reason why I um, enjoyed being a VA because I can take care of him, feed him or um, I give him the medicines that he, he needs uh, and at the same time work. So it's really good um, being a VA because you can do a lot of stuff aside from working um, with your family as well. Well, what the day like as a VA is that when I wake up, I just um, turn on my computer. So no more everyday traffic and um, I log in into Skype and then greet everyone in Skype. And then here in the house, um, I um, work uh, like beside my dad or in the kitchen um, to do interviews and stuff for recruitment. Um, there are a lot of challenges being a freelancer because um, in a freelancing world, you really need to like look for your client and um, the thing about being a freelancer, you couldn't really have that stability and the security that you really need for for you to be uh, for you to be able to land a client, because there are a lot of clients that would um, cheat on you, would scam you, would not pay for um, the work that you have done. They would just hire you for a month or so, six months, and um, yeah, that's that's the life of being a freelancer. You really have to the struggle of um, looking for a client is there. Working for a sourcing angel is a very refreshing feeling because um, unlike freelancing, uh, you really have that stability, the security. In outsourcing angel, it's like a family. Uh, we take care of each other and if, for example, if the client would actually pause for the service, we actually take care of the VA to find another client and we actually also help one of the other with regards to the task. So it's really refreshing being in a stable and secure um, company compared to freelancing so I'm really happy to be with Outsourcing Angel. Um, my family thinks about VA work is that um, they're really happy with me being a, a VA because um, number one priority is that I could be here with my dad and um, yeah and, and with regards to the time, um, I could work at the same time and help with the, the bills and stuff, help with the, um, with the water and electricity. And of course, uh, being a VA, it, it means that with regards to the salary and um, financial freedom, it is much more um, beneficial compared to being an um, office worker. So um, the salary is good. The Spread the Love seminar back then in 2017 last year was a success uh, because we were able to um, encourage and also uh, give information to young adults at the same time young mothers that is looking for work opportunity at home and we could really um, reach to them and um, give them information on how to work online and then give more opportunities for them, work opportunities. I was the first speaker there. I introduced what is a VA all about because more, um, most of the people don't know what is a VA because they really would think that VA is just a, a sort of secretary that would 
um, do data entry, research and stuff. There, there is more about being a VA. So I explained to them what is a VA and they, they really, um, you, could, you could actually look at their eyes and then um, really know that it, it opened a lot of um, windows for them, for, for them to be able to, to be a VA as well. Having more people know about what is a VA all about is really beneficial, especially in the third world countries, because it lessens the um, amount of um, unemployed uh, people here. Because um, a lot of uh, people that is um, like, for example, um, graduates just looking for work, work opportunity, and they don't have that ex experience with regards to a certain type of um, area, and that shines away or they lose that opportunity because most of the companies um, require um, staff that is experienced and stuff so being a VA or having more knowledge about being a VA is really beneficial because you, you can really um, start from home start from educating yourself through YouTube through Google because that's what I did um, before um, when I started as a VA I didn't really know much about anything so I started um, Aside from um, just uh, playing games online, uh, I've, I've started investing myself. I started investing on learning stuff in Google and YouTube, and that's how I started being a VA. So I think um, that's the path that they should um, go through with regards to um, being a VA. And um, with regards to that, I think uh, that will really solve in terms of unemployment here in the Philippines uh, because, um, yes, yeah, what I have observed, there are a lot of um, individuals that, is, that would really want to learn um, home-based or being a VA, and, but they don't know uh, when to start, where to start, or um, which client would they want. So uh, having to uh, spread the, the information or um, impart the information through the love seminar last year and hopefully uh, this week uh, we would be able to actually um, give VAs or give the people more opportunities to know, to know more about being a VA.